But, you know, Acts chapter 10, this internet bozo also said, while Peter yet spake these words, verse 44, he, he invoked this verse, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And he, he, he quotes this verse to make a point and say, see, these people didn't call upon the name of the Lord or didn't confess or, or maybe he was just trying to make a point about when exactly the moment of these people's conversion was, right? But he used this verse of, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. So basically his understanding of this verse is that Peter is preaching, they're silently listening, and it's just like, as they're silently listening, it's just like, ah. Okay, but, but, but here's the thing about that. He forgot to keep reading. Oops, you forgot to keep reading because look at the next verse. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. Why were they astonished? Did a halo appear over these people's heads? Did a beam of light shine on them? Did a, a little tongue of fire appear over their head? Like, what was it that astonished? How did they even know that the Holy Ghost fell on these people while Peter spake the words? How'd they know? They were astonished as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak. So what's actually happening in the story? Are, are these people just sitting silently? As Internet Bozo would have us believe? That basically, you know, they're just passively just like something clicked in their heart, but nothing came out of their mouth. This is a really bad example of that. Because what we actually see is that the only reason anybody knew anything happened was that they heard them speak. So they opened their mouth. Now, what does it say? It says, they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Now, why are they speaking with tongues? Because of the fact that the people who came with Peter, they are Israelites. They're Jews. That's why they're kind of like, whoa, the Gentiles are also partakers of the Holy Ghost. The people that came with Peter are Jews. The people that, that, that Peter is speaking to these men are Italians. That's what the Bible tells us, right? So, God performs a miracle here where basically when these people who are listening to Peter's preaching, when Peter yet spake the word, he's preaching about how salvation is by faith and how it's all through Jesus, how Jesus died for us. You know, he's preaching the gospel to them. When they heard this, they opened their mouth and begin to confess the Lord Jesus. They begin to call upon the name of the Lord, magnify God. These things are coming out of their mouth. God performed a miracle where that came out of their mouth instead of being in their native language. Instead of just in their native language, them confessing that or calling out the name of the Lord. God performed a miracle where they called this out in a language where the people who came with Peter would understand what they were saying so that it would be for their benefit. Because God wanted the people who came with Peter to know what? That, that, that you know what? Yeah, the gift of the Holy Ghost is granted to the Gentiles also. So God did this miracle where, where the people who are with Peter, they heard them speak and magnify God, and they even heard it in their own language. You know, it's presumably Aramaic. Could be Greek, whatever. We don't know exactly which language, but... You know, it could be Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, whatever. That's not the point. The point is, it was in a language that was not their normal language. And it was a language that Peter's buddies would have appreciated. So for their benefit, they got it. Really bad example if you want to point to somebody not confessing Christ or somebody not calling upon the name of the Lord. Uh, Keep reading, buddy. And this is the problem with being unskilled in the Word of God and just pulling a verse out of context, not getting the whole picture.